Hello and welcome back to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays, Divinity Original Sin 2, Defend Edition. I'm your host, Lord Fenton, taste Divinity Original Sin 2, Defend Edition video. We're still in ARCs this time. We're doing Blood Dowry and deliver some good news and bad news. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Divinity Original Sin 2 videos just like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell so be updated and more. So let's go on inside and grab the Blood Dowry side quest. Now, so here's the uh, deal. In order to get Blood Dowry, what we'll have to do is go with this direction. Yeah, we're going to go uh, this way. Then we're going to go over here. Outside, there should be a dwarf. We're going to go ahead and talk to him. He's going to try to get Fenn's attention. We'll see if how that goes. Ah, you. The noble-looking dwarf beckons Ifan closer. Ifan narrows his eyes, but strides over anyhow as the dwarf gestures toward the somber group inside. Hard to believe you're looking at a wedding party, isn't it? My wedding party. He looks you over, his mouth pressed into a mirthless smirk. But I suppose you're no stranger to mournful faces. The Silver Fang, isn't that right? Look, I know you're him. I know you can take care of problems. And I've got just the problem for you. A very lucrative one. I intend to be a particular kind of husband. And I could use someone with your particular talents to help me achieve this. I need you to take care of my father-in-law and bring me his will. The dwarf winks in an exaggerated fashion, squeezing one eye shut so forcefully it looks like his face just swallowed an eyeball. In return, Ifan raises one eyebrow, slowly. The man you speak of is not who I am, anymore. And I'll not become him again for the likes of you. Without another word, Ifan turns on one heel and strides away, leaving the aggrieved dwarf spluttering in his wake. Well, well. We made it to the big smoke. Ifan claps you on the shoulder. Awful day for it. Don't you think? The dwarf glances at Ifan, pulls you close, and whispers. The Silver Claw's blade is clearly dulled. But you, you look like a man of action, a doer of deeds. And I have a matter of some urgency I'd ask you to attend to. My new father-in-law, Mikhail Ross, must die. And you must retrieve his will. I will not prescribe the methods you use, but I shall insist on your discretion. Now, what is your price? My Lord Father always said the friend that carries your sword is a lifelong friend, although that life may not be as long as you like. But I am a more trusting man than my father. Come back to me with good news, and we shall be friends indeed. The dwarf subtly tries to wave you away, hissing at you from the side of his mouth. Are you moon-touched? Don't speak to me. I hired someone like you so I would not be seen to be involved. Imbecile. So, here's what's going to happen. I am not going to kill the father-in-law. No, I already tried it out. It was a bad result. Still, we're going to go ahead and tell this uh, dwarf some bad news. A well-dressed dwarf paces swiftly around the room, overseeing the packing of trunks. He gives you a cursory glance, worry etched on his face. Yes, thank you for coming. Indeed, it would have been a beautiful ceremony if only... Dark times. Dark times indeed. Safe home to you now. He quickly turns away and casts a worried gaze around the room, counting something on his fingers. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't know any. Lohar, you say? Keep your weapons stashed, hothead. I'll tell you what I know. When the crackdowns and decrees came, I defended her. When she exiled her cousin Marcus, I joined in the applause. But this new plan of hers, I want to believe I do. But death fog? Something's not right. She's tuned me out. Well, she's tuned everyone out. Everyone but that advisor of hers, that is Bale. 
Her quacking all but drowns us out. Hell if I know. <laughs> A terrible answer, but it's all I've got. But it wasn't long after she started hovering around Justinia that things started to change. Justinia's always been hard, if you know what I mean, but... But never heartless. I don't know what her end game is, but I don't want to be anywhere near when it begins. She's holding court in the sewers, if you can believe it. Go to my wine cellar. Pull out the vintage called Lula Bell. It will open the way for you. And take this key. You'll know where to use it when the time comes. Is there more you need from me? Awful. Just awful. I spent a fortune on the decor alone. The void woken have made quite a mess of the place. Attack toys, you say? Any other day, I wouldn't believe you. Today, nothing can surprise me. What's next? An army of poison toads? Flying crocodiles? Fire-breathing chickens? Looks like I'll need to have a word with the doctor. Right after you've gone. Which should be any moment now, I'm sure. Well, yes, of course. I'm not unsympathetic, you know. But I don't have time for teary eyes and sniffles. So, if you please, I'm sure you have your own burdens to bear. Ross taps his foot impatiently and steals a glance at his half-packed boxes. Really? Whew, this is... this is amazing news. But, but what of the Queen? What's been... What? I trusted you to keep her safe. This is distressing news. I must send word. Quickly. His quill scribbles furiously upon the scroll before him. Do we have further business? What? Impossible. That's the wine talking, that is. Yes. Yes. I see the honesty in your eyes. This news does muddle things a tad. I tell you what. You seem an honourable sort. See Dorian dead and I will meet his offer. All right, fine. Believe me when I say you'll be well rewarded. I suppose I can afford it better than I can afford an enemy at this particular moment. Kill the rat and be quick about it. I don't have the luxury of time. Now, if I would have killed him and his uh, guards, what would happen is, is uh, yeah, the entire other room would have been poisoned. He would have got away. And, of course, we would have to kill him anyways. Instead, we got a counter-offer from the dwarf. We told bad news that we somewhat promised, yeah, we'll save Queen Justinia when we already uh, killed her. Yeah, she was way too dangerous to keep alive. So, instead, we're going to try and look for the one dwarf who gave us original Blood Dower request. He is in hiding. I know where he is at exactly. I did a house run. In other words, I was going inside houses off screen just to see if there's any other quests there. So this way, I scout out. However, I found the one house. So I'm going to go over this direction. Before we do that, I'm going to show you this vendor. She sells some decent uh, jewelry. So let's go ahead and speak with her. Well, hello, handsome. Care to hear about the power of cheese? I've got wheels and rounds and blocks and rolls and possibly more. But my wares are nuanced, with undertones of something rare. She looks you up and down, then... What's on my mind? Hmm. Why, texture, maturity, taste. But most of all, I'm wondering what tickles your fancy. Looking at you, I think it may be power. Am I right? So I have not misjudged you. Now... We've established how you feel about power. How do you feel about law? Specifically laws relating to property and the acquisition of goods, hmm? A glint appears in her eye and she smiles. Then she raises her hands and shows you her rings. Perhaps this is the power you seek. I've been waiting for the right customer to come along for these, but I warn you, power doesn't come cheap. Even for someone as attractive as you. The pleasure. Now, this is a decent uh, jewelry shop, so if you want to go ahead and get some uh, level, I think it was 18, 19 jewelry, well, 
you could come to her. She sells some goods. So I discovered this while I was going house raiding, just to see where this uh, dwarf is at. Again, scouting for uh, quests, and it's this rundown house. Now, if you uh, go further north, that's where the doctor is at. I advise very close to 20 or actually level 20 do the doctor. This one you can do anytime. So we're going to go ahead and just read some books. And uh, great news is, is uh, after you finish this quest, the uh, rights of the house is kind of yours. So I advise not loot anything up now. Instead, just uh, go ahead and just look around. Now, there are two secrets that will be discovered as soon as you get in the next room. Right away by the bed is uh, something. Don't worry about it. And the other one is a button. Yeah, or a switch. We're going to go ahead and hit the switch. See, it's glowing. So as soon as we hit that, the other secret thing does get revealed, which is this uh, hatchway. So let's go ahead and go downstairs. Explosives. And we're locked in with them. No one strike a light. It had to be the lower one. Dorian's a dwarf, after all. By picking a switch at dwarf height, you uh, open the door. So go ahead in the next room and disarm this uh, trap. That looks dangerous, but maybe I can disarm it. Now you uh, definitely want to disarm this, so this way... You won't have any uh, problems, so I'm going to give everybody some uh, tactics. First of all, very important, you want to get everybody in this room. Second of all, you want to make a save. That's really important. Third, we're going to go ahead and play the conversation uh, trick. Yeah, the ones I usually do when I prepare my uh, party members while someone's talking, aka when someone's bait, and someone else, and other people get in a position. Now, in this one, we're going to do that. However... The key is I'm going to eventually pass the conversation to Sibyl. And then we'll get past the if fan. And then Sibyl will disarm the traps. Yeah, it's a good strategy. I'll uh, talk you all through that. And yeah, if you're going for the Sir Laura, uh, you know, challenge of keeping him alive. Yeah, I advise disarming all the traps. Otherwise, Sir Laura will eat the poison. Yeah, the little uh, squirrel on undead uh, cat will make your life a living hell. Now, if you're not doing that, then yeah, screw Sir Laura. He's just spendable. Still, we're going to go ahead and start this little conversation thing, then I'll uh, do the trick. You, again? Now, here's the uh, deal. What happened is, is the uh, dwarf is busy with Sibyl, so all I'm going to do is just position my other two characters around here somewhere. So let's see here, that's a good spot. I'm going to try to get Ifan to uh, disable the trap. What happens is, you're going to see this in a few moments. He's going to be uh, very upset saying, hey, what are you uh, doing? I try to attack it. That won't uh, fly. Instead, we're going to go over uh, here, attempt to uh, disarm it. Let me grab Ifan. Where is he at? Let's see. Yep, there he is. We're going to go ahead and hit the disarm button. Yeah, see, now we got that locked in a conversation, and Sibyl is out of that conversation. So we're going to go ahead and uh, keep those two uh, busy. Now, this is the first trap you want to disarm it. Great news is, he will not, I repeat, will not rearm the trap at all. Yeah, we're uh, getting rid of the uh, tough elements, which in other words, we'll get, you know, I mean, poison if we let that go on. Worse, he does have fire grenades. So, yeah, poison plus fire equals explosive damage. And it does hurt. And he does, I think, a necro fire. So, yeah, that's not a good thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and just disarm that one. I'll uh, definitely put timestamps in the video for uh, this. Yeah, this is a cheap method still. You got to think outside the box. This is a big time outside the box type of deal. We got about, I think, this one here, and it should do it. I'm just using the bed rolls just to, uh, you know, heal myself up if I need to uh, do it. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that looks fine, and the entire room is already set up. So I'm going to have Sibyl right now park herself behind the... This uh, dwarf that originally gave us the quest, we're going to murder him and his slime. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, get everybody set up, then get in the combat after. I should hate to spoil your fun, but this will not be as easy as you might think. The dwarf grins as he lifts a flap of cloth to reveal a string of grenades around his waist.
into the dark with you. Now, this is the part where uh, fools rush in, so I try to get out of the uh, room, just get everybody to safety. Two of the uh, four people made it, the other ones uh, didn't. You're going to see why not. Still, I just decided, screw it, I'll just have some fun doing this. Still, I have plenty of resurrection scrolls. I advise against doing it. I'll probably say is use uh, Bless if this is a uh, Necrofire. Yeah, see, watch. Two down. However, I get the rest people, and I have... Uh, also, uh, Losha, she's going to be the one, uh, she's going to be alright too, so we're going to go ahead and just revive everyone. Still, that battle was not bad at all. Once I uh, disabled the uh, poison traps, things got a lot more easier. Yeah, of course, uh, the dwarf was still throwing fire. Still, everybody live, including Sir Laura. It's a challenge I wanted to do. Where's the fan at? Yeah, a uh, tip is, yeah, don't do a death run. I was a little bit impatient after the uh, battle, and it cost me. So, let's uh, go ahead and get revive everyone. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and loot this entire room up and the bodies. Now, for this uh, portion of the video, it's time to uh, get some fat loot. Yeah, it could be uh, reagents, items, yeah, especially from that uh, one former uh, employer that I uh, killed. Yeah, that one was a little bit sketchy. Still, I uh, killed him. Funny part was that he was running away. That was a big mistake that he uh, did. Huge mistake. Ooh, we got, let's see here, identify that. Oh, wow, that is uh, good for finesse. Yeah, we'll give Sibyl that. Uh, that's a poison wand, a one-handed weapon. We'll give Losha that, yep. Yeah. And uh, let's see here, um, okay, we'll give her that book too. We'll uh, grab everything else, and let's see here, nothing here. So I'm going to go ahead and check the room out yeah, at this point. Yeah, this is a loot run, everyone. You definitely want to do this. We already got the proof that, uh, what you call the son-in-law wanted to kill the father-in-law. And, yeah, you know that whole, uh, story. Not a good idea. That helmet, that's not worth it. I think I got better. Let's see here. Oh, this might be good. And, uh, let's grab that. Let's actually read that. Let's see what that has to say. Okay, there's some mess up things I am seeing right now. I'll grab that for, uh, evidence, maybe. Okay, that's the encyclopedia. Now there's a quest uh, that's involved with the encyclopedia. I'll probably do it in one of those uh, days of those uh, videos just for reward. Still, I'll probably say it's optional. And that's, okay, that book is seriously messed up. Alchemist's uh, book. Okay, looks like that's there. Let's go ahead and uh, read that too. 
Let's see. Okay, that's so weird. I can't steal that painting. I mean, come on. I want to steal that too. I want to sell some things. Let's uh, check here. Okay, nothing else there. I'm just looking again. Let's see if there's anything else here. Hmm. That's just random uh, drawers. You never know. Let's see here. Okay, so Blood Dowry. We uh, killed the uh, one uh, employer. Now we have to go back to the new employer. And great news is, yeah, you're going to love the reward. So still, I'm just going to make one look around this entire room before I get the heck out of here. So now, because we killed the house owner and got the house key, technically we do own this house. That's what's neat about uh, this game is uh, as soon as you kill the house owner, well, guess what? You own the house. We own some uh, property in uh, arcs, which is good. So let's uh, get on out of here. Go upstairs. Do not light anything at all, please. That's why I took out the torches. So at this point, we're just go ahead and look everything up. Loot everything up, I should say. I mean, oh, wow. Look at that. See, I told you from red to white. That means uh, it's free loot. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab anything I feel that's really important. Okay, that's all good. Oh, wow. That is nice. If you're in a, what you call a sword and board, you will love that shield. Let's see what else is there. I'll read that. Okay, let's see if I learn anything. Nope. Uh, I'm, only thing I was disappointed in is I did not find any uh, mine maggots. I will love those. I mean, mine maggot grenades, those things are like pure solid gold. You could just toss those and then uh, have some foes attack your foes, which is good. Oh, wow. There's some uh, goodies here. I have to remember some of these in uh, what you call it, combinations to uh, do. Look like I am done for now, and that's it. If I feel like anything else, I'll go off screen and just loot the rest up if I am really jonesing for uh, money. So we're going to go ahead and turn in the Blood Dowry to the uh, dwarf that, uh, you know, we deliver bad news. I think it's time that this dwarf deserves some wonderful news. Yeah, you heard me right. Some great news. So you just go over there to the general store. Yeah, we're going to go in this uh, very uh, direction. Uh, once we uh, do that, we're going to go ahead and get our reward, and I'll uh, definitely get a recap. This quest was actually uh, great, though. It gave you two options. Actually go through the assassination or do the uh, counter offer. Either way, it was very uh, fun to do. So we're going to go upstairs. I'm going to claim my reward, and you're going to love the claiming, too. So let's go ahead, and I'll show everybody this uh, now. His quill scribbles furiously upon the scroll before him. Do we have further business? Oh, yes. Well, I certainly could use some good news amongst the bad. I am a man of my word. Here is the payment promise and extra besides. You've done right by me. For that, I'm grateful. I absolutely love it when quest rewards are two of four. You get to pick half of them. Oh, wow. That is good. Okay. Uh, staff, I'll take that. And Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I do get two. That's why you want to do this uh, counter offer. You get some nice uh, stuff. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and uh, give a nice recap of today's uh, video. Uh, first of all, there's this one dwarf outside this building. Wants to assassinate his father-in-law. Then we uh, talk to the father-in-law saying, hey, guess what? Your son-in-law wants to uh, kill you. And that dwarf uh, who wants us to do the original assassination ran away. We found a laboratory of traps and uh, failed experiments. We took care of all those and got some nice uh, fat loot. In the next uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 uh, Divinity Edition video, we're going to go to school and uh, get the sucker who was uh, possessed, unpossessed. Well, this is it for my Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition Arcs Blood Dowry side quest video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Divinity Original Sin 2 content like this. If you do like what you see, check out the upper right hand corner videos for my suggestion on the lower right hand corner for a video suggestion from YouTube. Thank you for watching everyone and have a wonderful day or night.